Swinburne University of Technology. My name is Ming Gu. I'm the professor of the Center for Microphotonics. The key area of the Center for Microphotonics is in the biophotonics and the nanophotonics. With the vision, we want to develop a research for a sustainable future. Well, solar cell is very important for everyday life, but currently, because the efficiency of the solar cell is quite low, about 20%, so that limited the solar cell application only to the domestic or some of the limited industrial application. Eventually, solar cell should be more widely used in our everyday life. So the current way you use a, a solar panel on the roof is quite a limited way to use. What our idea is to try to store the solar energy. The way we want to do is to use the nanotechnology to store more efficiently the solar energy so that people can use the solar energy anytime you want. And we successfully uh, attracted the, one of the largest solar manufacturer in China, SunTech, to work with Sweden. So Victoria government funded this collaboration with a significant amount of uh, money. And on the 1st of June, we had an official opening. The aim of the facility is trying to create a new, totally new, so new kind of solar cell, which we can revolutionize the solar panel manufacturing. If we success, Zentech will invest a plant in Victoria to commercialize the solar panel, which we invented. The example we already commercialized, the work we have done, is the endoscopic work with the aim to detect the cancer at an early stage. Our endoscope is different from uh, the traditional endoscopic device, which is already used in the hospital. The key feature of our endoscope is we can see the cell in three dimensions. So that way we can have more information to determine the abnormality of the cell in the early stage and uh, we contacted the industry uh, partner who are interested in our technology. Eventually we found the, the in investor and they create a company now, so we have developed the, the product. The work we have uh, done uh, on, in optical data storage is revolutionary. In that sense, what we say is that we are doing the work is beyond the Blu-ray. We can put more than 2,000 movies into this kind of uh, disc. And I think that that's really, truly re revolutionary. The government is uh, awarded this uh, Australian Laurel Fellowship to me and to the university, which is uh, the highest recognition of the research achievements in Australia. So with that money, we can actually really develop a fantastic laboratory, the really world-class laboratory in the new building Sweden University is completed, which is called the Advanced Technology Center. Kudos is a very long name, Center for Ultra High Bandwidth Device or Optical System. Really the mission of the Kudos for the next seven years is to produce this kind of optical computer components for our vision to produce the all optical device for fast, low energy consumption and efficient communication device. I think Sweden is a very exciting place to work. It is small, but it's very focused in the cup of area, in the cutting edge of the research. And I believe Sweden is currently the rising star in Australia, and probably in some sense also around the world. And we are doing very exciting work over the last 10 years, and we have made a tremendous achievements. Swinburne Production.